The Gombe Warriors came into the penultimate match of their 2023 Nations League campaign with their backs against the proverbial wall. To keep their dream alive of returning to the CONCACAF elite, a defeat or even a draw were simply not an option. And perhaps it was this prospect that propelled a visibly determined Bermuda to defy their opponent's physical brand of football to put on one of their most dominant displays of the competition. They're a very physical team. You know, they were very physical in St. Vincent and Grenadine and they were very physical tonight. And, and that, that, that's what makes them dangerous. Um, as, you know, they're very direct. Um, they're very athletic. And uh, so, uh, you know, that, teams like ours who are very technical uh, and, and want to build their game, uh, you know, it can become very difficult. Team Bermuda were quick to stamp their authority on the match. And after a mere six minutes, were rewarded when Najai Tucker found the back of the net. When the visitors' equalizer came in the 33rd minute, the Gombe Warriors piled on the pressure and 10 minutes later found themselves back out in front when Kane Critchlow scored off a rebound in the 43rd minute just before half time. We've made another step forward. I was very happy with the, the fighting mentality that they showed, which we talked about in, in the previous St. Vincent game where we, we kind of lost our way a bit and we sort of didn't fight for, for, for ourselves. Tonight, we definitely fought for ourselves in some very difficult conditions and against a team that can make it very, very difficult for you. Four minutes into the second half, a goal from DeJair Prophet Williams gave Team Bermuda a two-goal advantage to the delight of the 600-plus spectators who braved the wet and windy conditions under the lights at the National Sports Centre. With the end in view, emotions were running high both on the pitch and on the sidelines, and as evidenced by the yellow card he received, Coach Findlay was no exception. I think it's just, uh, you know, uh, my feeling of protecting my players. I thought they were taking liberties, and uh, I made the fourth official aware of that, um, which I thought was in a respectful way, but he obviously didn't. Um, but, uh, you know, you, you have to stand up for your players and um, in, in a respectful manner, and that's what I did, but it caused me to, to see yellow. In the end... Neither Mother Nature nor the visiting Vincentians proved to be a match for Team Bermuda's determination. And with the three points from Friday's 3-1 victory in hand, the Gombe Warriors moved to the top of their group and one win away from regaining their 2019 glory of competing with the CONCACAF elite. I'm really excited for the players. You know, the players have put themselves into a position that they're playing for something. And so the suffering that's gone on is now being rewarded with coming to play for a match that's that's going to give them promotion. And in football, you know, you don't play for something like that all the time. So they should, they should embrace it. Julie Matthews-Borchard for Bermuda Broadcasting News.